up, world? Here we have a uh, fresh litter as of today. They are two weeks old. As of today, two weeks. We have a litter of eight. Hey, Flashy. Flashy new brand here. We have a litter of eight. Six boys, two girls. Oh my. Thanks. You see, they were just sleeping. As soon as she comes around, they go right into feeding. So, this is pretty much the, the little playground. Not the biggest weapon box, but it'll do for the meantime. Till uh, once they get big enough, then I basically transport them to um, to some a little more bigger, something to get more looking more outdoor feel with dirt. But um, yeah, as you can see, they were basically bundled up, which they tend to do when they're they're resting. They tend to be in the pile. Just one of my see their eyes just trying to blind with this light here. See the eyes just cracked open here. Uh, I'm gonna say this is probably day four with the eyes being open. I'm gonna give them a little compare them to my hand there. And see, this is a good solid litter. Um, being that is eight. Pretty much all of them have a chance to eat at the same time, if need be. Rather, uh, when there are bigger litters, like 10 plus, um, you usually have uh, the smaller one, aka the runt or runts. There are times there can be more than one. Basically, a runt is just the smaller one. It's not necessarily the last one out. It's basically just the, uh, the, the smaller one, the prone to be the weaker one. But look, look, she's... Really trying to, she's really trying to get in there. <laughs> so at times, uh, I mean, there's there's still going to be smaller ones here, but they're not extremely smaller to where they are, to where I would myself would classify them as runs. Uh, I know any of the viewers that may tend to watch this will chime in. Um, you know. Everybody has their their um, opinions or facts, they will call them, I guess. I just basically want to put up a productive video. Um, basically, I'm going to make this into a uh, vlog here. Uh, it just hit me. It just dawned on me like, hey, I should just... Is there any vlogs of, 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 of a little rock rollers being made? Um, I'm a, I, I didn't really look, but at a glance of, of me looking, just typing in, I didn't come across any. I did come across like, you know, um, puppies growing up, like from day X till, uh, you know, one, one year old or whatnot. I was able to see that. Things of that nature. But uh, yeah, this this is uh, my girl here. Um, call her Foxy. She does her thing. She, she's well experienced. Uh, this is her third litter. You know, um, she she pretty much knows what to do, knows how to take care of him, handles it on her own. Um, you know, we as human beings, we can tend to intervene and you know assist at at uh, any given point. But for the most part, man, she she does her thing. She she's a great mom. It's like natural instincts. So <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah, I just. I just want to give give a lot of a lot of newbies for the most part, or just um, you know, um, maybe maybe people who are expecting puppies for the first time, uh, you know, uh, may have a lot of questions or a lot of concerns. Uh, for the most part, um, the 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 dog is pretty much going to be able to do the thing 
on their own, you know. And if anything, we can just come in to assist, but for the most part, they naturally know how to birth them and uh, break the sack open and uh, basically just welcome them on their own. They, they know how to do that. Um, but there are times where you, you may have to assist, but for the most part, they, they got it. Um, I myself didn't really have to assist her. I just had to make sure that she had them in this particular location. And um, by doing it, you just got to basically make her comfortable, bring a bowl, your, your water bowl, your dog food, and just lay down with her uh, in this particular area. Other than that, she will find a, a spot on her own. So uh, you just got to be careful for that. Um, they do a lot of um, spot placing here, but, uh, you know, I, I basically made sure she had it in this particular area. But uh, let, me, let me focus. Uh, I, I can tend to talk um, off subject here, but, uh, but like I say, for the most part, I just want to start a, I think I'm, I want to start a vlog here. I don't know if I want to do this. Um every other day or every week or whatever the case may be but i just want to basically start a vlog here i'm kind of behind again we are two weeks as of today um they were whelped on the seventh um which basically should be two weeks um, um i had a scale i thought i had um had one put up but I currently didn't, so I'm basically going to try to get some weights for you guys as well. Uh, as you can see, they are docked. Um, I am starting to see a lot more riding square tails are being kept. Um, I know that it is a a law in the in the Europe area to where they no longer dock. So I think that was about like in 2012. So you would tend to see more tails on on riders. but here in the states. Uh, or uh, via AKC, this, this is AKC, they will be uh, registered via AKC. Uh, the standards still state that it's, it's a dock tail, so I just went with my gut feeling. This is pretty much how I grew up with Roddy's with the dock tails. Um, but it, it was it was a, uh, a, um, a thinking process for me like, hey, should I or should I not uh, go with the dock tail? But uh, I just went with my gut feeling, let me just go with what I know to go ahead and dock the tail. I don't even know why they dock the tail. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of um, references that say why I do this, why I do that, but I don't see any concrete information to say this is the real reason why. You know, uh, and like say you what, some beers might chime in, oh, they, they dock the tail because of this or because of that. Hey, I just know that AKC, standards is a a dock tail but like i say in the uh in the european um uh, area um uh, tails are no longer being docked so uh you see that like with the roddies over there the uh, adrk i know fci things of that nature uh claws are also uh new claws are also removed so like as here for example you can basically see it the, the scoring or the healing brushes per se yeah, yeah this is a big boy right here big boy oh I'm kind of getting rough I'm kind of under the weather but uh the mom also she's basically going to do a lot of uh, uh, uh licking here as well so I tend not to uh wash them at this particular point because uh their bowel movements are basically getting um thicker per se uh like I say, for the most part, she will clean that up. And, uh, you know, she may does a lot of licking to basically, um, you know, uh, to, to get them to, to uh, do that. To, to, what, poop, I guess. <laughs> to do the number two. Um, it will be getting to a point to where there'll be, uh, it's going to be a lot of urination going on as well. So that's me personally, what I tend to begin to bathe them. Uh, because... It eventually they'll eventually just be soaking it up or whatnot so it'll be all in their coat so I just get a, a nice little hyper allergenic shampoo and uh, just gently wash them up every so often but uh this this um, this weapon box I made um, it pretty much gets cleaned daily almost twice a day for the most part 
that's one of the main things. Definitely try to keep it clean as possible. You know, I tend to examine, you know, you, you should get some type of whimper by picking them up by so. That's just there. I just test for responsiveness. But I think this is going to... This, this is going to be a very nice litter just for the fact that I have eight um, and it's six males uh, to two females. Um, from, from my experience, uh, uh, males are usually the, the most popular when it comes to, uh, you know, people just wanting the dog itself. Usually the people that want females uh, um, um, basically are up to some, maybe want to breed or whatever it be. I, uh, just want to just again, just want to give y'all a little footage. Hopefully I'm not talking too much, but at the same time, like I said, I'm trying to uh, edu educate as well for any newbies or just, um, you know, just in general. Um, although these are Rotties, the, the same rule applies pretty much just for a dog, period. Uh, you can have a Poodle, you can have a Chihuahua, you can have a Shih Tzu, you can have a, 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 any other Master, a Con Corse, a Corso, um, whatever the case may be. This, all, all these um, attributes or rules will apply to, to any dog possibly. Just got here, rolled over. Okay. Tongue action. <laughs> Like I said, they're, they're growing on the daily. Like I said, I'm, uh, I need to get another scale. Uh, that'll basically really show you the, the results. Um, basically, you'll see how much they're, they're gaining weight. And maybe I can try to figure out how to measure them some way, somehow. Just just to see, you know, how fast these, these puppies grow. Um, so, like I say, uh, this is week two. Uh, the eyes just cracked open, um, I'm going to say about four days ago, three most. Next is basically going to be the ears. They're basically beginning their hearing. Uh, not sure I can get a clear shot there, but well, let me see if you can lay down this way, buddy. You can pretty much, hold on, me, bear with me, people. You pretty much see the, the ears are pretty much still closed. You can see the inside mouth. You can kind of see the... Uh, uh, the imprints of teeth, but no no teeth will yet be coming in. Maybe to another week or so, four weeks for sure. Just just you know, look at the paw, the black paw. I'm trying to just show as much detail. Safe Rotties. I'm not sure if y'all ever know. Uh, they basually have a white chest. You really can't see a uh, freshly white, but uh, they have white chest. Uh, it's a little hidden little tip there uh, that most don't know as far as with rock wallers, uh, but it, it does fade away as they grow. It will know it will probably fade away. Uh, I don't know, maybe around eight weeks or so. But uh, just just man, look at these. Look at them stretched out. That's yeah. That's nice. But um. Yeah, you guys stay tuned in, man. If, you, if, if this is something that, you know, is, is something of interest, definitely, definitely stay tuned in. Uh, I see myself definitely doing more footage of this. And like I say, this is week two. Um, and week three, week four, coming soon. Signing off, guys. Take care.